Hey Stackers, it's Numa Stacker here, and I've made you um, a little video about the Britannia, the one tenth of an ounce gold Britannia primarily, from three different perspectives. So, uh, first of all, here's um, a little bit about the kind of accumulation of the unboxing side. These Britannias are, I've actually, they're, two, they're both the same, and uh, I've already got one of these in my collection but um, they were a good price recently when the bullion price went down. And really, you can pick these up for quite a reasonable amount if you're careful and you shop around. They seem to vary between, well, I think I paid £92 each for these plus delivery, but you can quite easily pay £150, and I've seen them going for anything up to £200. So you have to be kind of careful that you don't overpay for these things. But um, as coins, they vary between about 300 or so around uh, mintage to about 1,500. And then there are usually some other ones that are around in the four coin sets. But uh, they're beautiful coins. I think the Royal Mint makes superb proof coins, and these are no exception. So I was very happy to have these in my stack. Um, you don't really pay a huge premium between having a very, very basic bullion one-tenth round and these beautiful limited mintage coins from the Royal Mint that go back about, well, I think 1987 they started this series and they've been produced every year since 1987. So, uh, and you get the box and the COA and everything else with them. So compared to just say, a one-tenth American Gold Eagle. I think these are a far better investment than, say, a Bullion Gold Eagle. And really, there's probably only a few pounds difference uh, in terms of the cost of these things if you shop around. So I've got a couple of, um, a couple of these here. Um, I've decided that probably I'll grade one of them and then keep one in the box because I don't need too many that are graded. So... Uh, I've had a look at both of them under a loop and I've picked the one that is, I think, the best looking coin and that's the one I'll have graded. Um, I'm not sure which is which in the picture but you can tell me whether you can see any difference between the two coins. But uh, there were about 980 of these produced in 1994 and there were a few four coin sets, quite a low, three or four hundred four coin sets. So the overall mintage of the 94 was actually very low for a tenth of an ounce Britannia. So, there you have it. That's the unboxing part of this video. And then we come on to a little look at the Britannia collection. So, I'm actually kind of trying, not too hard, but I'm trying to build um, a set of these things and have at least one coin from every... Uh, every year. Um, there aren't very many of these coins graded by the grading companies because a lot of collectors in the UK um, really hate the thought of slabbing. Uh, I'm uh, unusual in that respect. They hate the thought of sending things to NGC. If they buy things in slabs, they'll cut them out and put them back in, uh, you know, in a in some kind of capsule or in an album or something like that. But, um, you know, I kind of like having the grade, I like having the description, I like the slab format, it makes them very easily saleable or tradable, so I'm very kind of pro-slabbing. Um, and I've had reasonable success in grading these things. I think 98% of the coins here I've sent for grading myself. I've had quite a few 70s, I've had some as low as 68, mostly 69s and 70s, as one might expect, because they're proof coins. Um, that one is the 2003, the, the bonnet design. Um, very nice, a really nice coin, one of the nice, nicer years. Um, this design is the standard Britannia design that kind of permeates pretty much all the years unless there is a special design, a little bit like the Pistruki, George and the Dragon for the Sovereign. So this is the one that you'll find on 80% of Britannias. And obviously I've got a number of years and so I've got a number of coins with that design on. 2008 was a special year. 
and uh, and I think this is one of the nicest designs actually. 2008, it's a really nice design. Um, I had a quarter of an ounce one as well, which I did as a, uh, a swap with 24K. But here's a uh, uh, an unusual look at both the platinum for 2008 and the tenth of an ounce gold. The platinum, there's probably only a maximum of maybe 150 of these coins in existence. Uh, they're very, very rare, the platinum quarter is a very, very rare coin. So, uh, 2008 was one of my favourites. 2008, 2011, 2001, 2003, 2005, 1997. There's been about half a dozen special ones, and here you can see some of the special ones together. The 2001 proof uh, note that it doesn't say Ultra Cameo. It's a kind of matte proof, special proof for 2001. Uh, it's one of the only ones that isn't um, a Cameo proof. So then you've got the 2006, which is back to the, the regular design. And uh, the 2012, I do have up to 2013. The 2012... Um, is standard kind of design as well. Here's a little look at both the designs for the 2007-2008 uh, Platinum Britannias. Both very rare coins, both um, very difficult to pick up. Um, you'll almost never see, particularly the 2008s, you'll almost never see them. When you do see them, they'll be extremely expensive. Let's take a look now at the smallest um, this little kind of got a one pound value. It's a twentieth of an ounce uh, Britannia. There are quite a few of these around. This was the, the first year they were issued in 2013 with the kind of seated Britannia design. A lot of people had mixed feelings about this design. I think it's quite nice. Um, but again, this coin is, is, you know, it's worth picking up if you see one at the right price. And there's quite a few of them around on eBay, I noticed this week. So it comes to number three, and number three is the registry. Now, the registry is a place where people can um, collect sets of coins, and providing they're slabbed, and put the numbers in for the uh, certificates into a list. Uh, and the idea is a number of people then try to get the best possible set uh, that is available. And uh, I decided to do this with the one-tenth of an ounce gold Britannias. So in the registry for Gold Britannias there's actually three people including Numistaka who have started their collections. Uh, at the moment I have the most registry points um, but the least views. Um, not many people seem to look at this so maybe this video will get a few more people looking at the NGC registry. But you basically Put, it has all the possible coins in a list, and then the ones you have, uh, I think I've got 14 of the possible coins, you can you can then put your certificate number in, and it'll then kind of uh, capture it and verify it as yours. You can, if you want, have photographs that you take of your slabs and put those in. I've only done that so far to one of the coins in my registry set, um, the 1998. I might do it to a few more, but... Um, and then the ones that don't have a coin against the line are the ones that I'm missing in my registry set. So the idea behind it really is that the better the grade of the coin, the higher the number of points you get. So obviously anyone who pulls a set together with all uh, PF70s will get a higher number of points than somebody with all 69s. So you vie for completion of the registry set in terms of the number of coins and then maximise the number of points. So there we have it. Let me know what you think, guys.